Now, your news on the go. The man who escaped from jail 10 days ago was captured in northwest Pennsylvania. This manhunt finally coming to an end just before 6 o'clock last night. Homeowners found 34-year-old Michael Burham on their property after seeing what their dog had been barking at. That's when he told the couple he was camping, but they recognized him immediately from photos and called 911. After a brief pursuit with police, Burham was taken back into custody. Burham is the prime suspect in the May killing of a Western New York mother. He's also accused of kidnapping an older Pennsylvania couple. Well, closer to home, the suspect in the deadly July 4th shooting of 17-year-old Carly Ann Short was arraigned in court. The judge denying our request to film, but 28-year-old Malcolm Barner entering a not guilty plea just one day after the Syracuse man turned himself into police. Barner is facing charges, including murder and criminal possession of a weapon. He's expected to be back in court on Monday for separate charges. His preliminary, he preliminary hearing scheduled for this Thursday. Switching gears to the latest car show in the Northeast. If you missed the first two days, today's your last chance to stop by the Syracuse Nationals. It's from 8 until 3 at the New York State Fairgrounds. More than 8,000 cars from across the country are here in central New York. Today is also the last day to go to the Syracuse Middle Eastern Festival. A full course menu of Middle Eastern cuisine is being offered. Parking is free and so is admission. The fun starts at noon and then it runs until 6. It is 7.53. Carson's back for a final check of our weather. Good morning to you. Good morning, everyone. Clouds, a little bit of sunshine across parts of central New York this morning. You see just a little blue sky breaking out here on our Pompey Cam. Current temperature, it's warm. 72 degrees here in Syracuse. Humidity high as well. Look at the dew point. 66 degrees. It feels every bit of summer as you step outside this morning. Mainly dry conditions here on the radar screen. We've dried out quite nicely, and I think we're going to stay fairly dry through this morning. Chances for a couple additional showers and thunderstorms will develop, especially along and east of I-81 between about 12 and 4 o'clock this afternoon. Then a little bit of late day sunshine for all. High temperatures upper 70s to low and mid 80s. It's mild as we head through tonight with lows in the low to mid 60s. Mainly clear to partly cloudy skies overhead. Watch out for a little bit of patchy fog developing at times too. For the day on Monday, isolated afternoon or evening shower thunderstorm. That's about it. Temperatures heating back up once again. 87 the high tomorrow up down to 82. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms on Tuesday. And then really nice drying out nicely here turning brighter and less humid as well by the time we get to Wednesday.